<laughs> All right, it's always a fun time here in the kitchen. We have Shona with us from Faith Baked Cakes, and today we're talking about a staple in the fall. It's pumpkin bread time. Pumpkin bread time. I love it, yes. But it's an easy pumpkin bread okay. so that anybody can make it. If, if it's that easy, I probably can make All it. All right. So what are we going to do to get started? Get started, you got to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay. And then we're just going to crack two eggs. Right. In here. And while you're doing all of that, you are also, we, you know, we were talking earlier this year, you know, around the 4th of July and everything about you being about part of the uh, uh, Labor Day, talking about you being part of the culinary program over at Dobbins Bennett. I am part of the program over at Dobbins Bennett High School, working with culinary one, two, three, and four. Right. So we're learning about the industry, learning about cooking, catering getting Serve Safe certified so right. that when they come out at yes. the end of their senior year, mm -hmm. they're ready to go right into work. Go right into a restaurant right. situation and work pretty much any, any aspect of the Absolutely. restaurant. Absolutely. Yes. And then we have some, you know, want to do some work-based learning as they, you know, go into their senior year. So right. we're working real hard to make sure that everybody keeps cooking and you've got somewhere to go eat. Right, exactly. With good chefs. That's exactly right. So that's what we're working on. All right, so we got All two right. eggs. Two beat, eggs, beat and, those I, up and a I beat bit. them up. Then I'm just mm. going to put a can of pumpkin puree. Uh, okay. Not pumpkin pie mix. Not pumpkin pie filling. I thought it right. was, nope, but it's just nope. puree. Puree, about 15 yep. ounces of okay. that. All right, we've got that in there. And then, oh, where is my vanilla? Uh oh. We've lost it. Oh no. <laughs> what do we do with it? I'll look. You All right, tell. you look. Okay. Right. Then we're going to take. Oh, here you go. You found it. Vanilla. There you go. All right. We got to have just a little bit. All About right. a teaspoon. A little more, a little mess, less, depending on how much you like. All right. Then we're going to. You better watch out. Oh. You don't want me to get that. That's on why I got you. the apron on today. <laughs> then we're just going to incorporate that up. Okay. All right. Not a whole lot of blending to that. No. Yeah. And then we're just going to put a whole box. Okay. You want to help me out with that? Make sure I don't dump the bag in there. I got you. All right. A whole box of go. spice cake. Okay. And then we're going to incorporate that. And you just want to make sure that oh, you get it, it all good. good and moist. Oh, it smells like fall. It, it does really smell does. like fall. And then, you know, if you want to add a little bit extra cinnamon mm -hmm. or whatever, you can do that. Well, and while you're doing that, we're in the middle of October right now. And right. October is the new June when it comes to weddings. It is. And you all are busy right now, but you would love to hear from some more folks if they need something oh, this, yes. this month or next month. Yes, yes. that's true, especially for drop-offs. We're still able to do all kinds of drop-off. It's just yeah. the full service that we're having trouble with because yeah. we can't be in more than one place at, at one once. time. Yes. So that's why we're kind of saying we can't do full service, but we sure right. can do some drop-offs. Yeah. So and then I've got just about a cup of uh, chocolate chips, and we're going to coat that in about a tablespoon of flour. So you got flour in there. Now, why yeah. do you do that with the chocolate so chips? So that all the chocolate chips won't sink to the bottom. Oh, See, okay. Because when you eat a piece of chocolate chip pumpkin bread, you want to make sure that, you know, there's a little chocolate chip And I'll be honest with it. you, that's the first time I've seen that done. Yes, I mean, if I, you don't do that most right? of the time, they'll either they'll sink to the bottom or they'll okay. be all in one place. And it doesn't really, you know, look So it helps pretty. incorporate it all the way through. Right. Yeah. All right, now you want to spray our pan? Yep, I'll do that. Now, this is it. This is all you're going to put into this batter. So we've got two eggs that we bet that we uh, scrambled up there and then we added our can of pumpkin puree or puree right. however you want to say that we're from <laughs> the south so and then we put in a whole box of cake mix spice spice cake mix spice cake mix yes. all right you sprayed our pan and we've right. got our bread loaf okay and we're just going to put all this batter in here Oh my goodness! And, look, it and smells I, so good. I keep saying, but it does. It smells so good. Now there's yeah. other variations that you could yeah. do with this. You could add some pecans or oh, walnuts, yeah. or you oh, can yeah. use white chocolate chips. Oh goodness! You know whatever that you want to do. Now, did you use dark chocolate there, or did you use milk chocolate? I did a uh, uh, semi sweet. Semi sweet. Okay. Semi sweet, and then just kind of you know straighten your dough out a little bit. Make it pretty. Make it pretty, <laughs> and then you could also at this point, if you wanted to 
sprinkle a little bit of uh, brown sugar. Right. You know, whatever you want And if you do. like, you know, the spice cake mix has some spices in it, but if you like a little more cinnamon right. or if you like a little more nutmeg yes. or something like that, it's be the perfect time to sprinkle maybe some of that on top. Certainly. So this yeah. is a very versatile recipe. And right. remember, a recipe is just a guideline. Right. So you can actually fix this up ever how you want it. And if you're going to have, you know, people over for... You can have this for dessert, you can oh, have yeah. it for breakfast or a nighttime snack. Somebody just drops by for a visit, you got something you can right. get three give, or four boxes, yeah. three or four cans of this, and mm -hmm. make a variation and slice it all up and put it on a platter. All right, well, so, we're, we're going to come back here in a little while. You're going to show us how to make this, this the icing, frosting. the frosting yes. that goes on top there. We're going to show you the finished product as well. And if you if you need something right now, she has got you covered down at Faith Baked Cakes there in Churchill, right there on West Main Boulevard. Give them a call and go to faithbakedcakes.com.